Yo, what's going on everybody? It's the Flying Pig here on Flying Pig United with another little video for you. Manchester United's sort of latest news update and update in regards to Mason Greenwood as well. There's been lots of breaking news this afternoon, which we're going to get into and cover in this video. Uh, thanks for everyone for waiting for us to get going here. Kishan Patel, Chris, Rajat Hunam, Jay Garth, that American guy, Jamie Wayne, Connor Matthews, Rajat Felicia, Elliot Manduna, Big Guy, Vuti. And everybody else as well, thank you very much for getting in here for this new show today. Um, do us a favour, first of all, hope you're having a great Saturday, guys. Do us a favour at the start of the show and smash the like on this video. Give it a huge thumbs up. Also, if you want to give it a cheeky little retweet out there and help us spread the word, that won't go amiss either. So please do smash a cheeky little retweet on it. I'll just put the link in the live chat. Um, but yeah, hit the like button, get yourself subscribed, get your thoughts and opinions in, obviously, about anything we're discussing in this video. And we will have a big Q&A at the end of the show, as we always do, see your thoughts and everything. Um, so thanks very much for that. Oh, nice one, Griffo Chaz has just put a link in the uh, in the live chat. If you could put that in there at the end of the stream, Griffo, I'll direct everyone there at the end. That'd be amazing, my friend. Um, so we've got an article on the website as well. Thank you, Griffo Chaz there. I'll just put my link to the tweet in there. Give it a retweet. We'll give you a shout out later. Anyway, let's get into the news, guys. It's not pleasant news. It's more on Mason Greenwood. He has now been charged with uh, attempted rape and assault that is the latest situation with mason greenwood so um just a little bit on it let's get this up on the screen here so guardian reporting and various different outlets bbc and everywhere in the last sort of hour or two and generally throughout the day have been reporting this that manchester united's mason greenwood has, has been charged with attempted rape engaging in controlling and coercive behavior and assault occasioning actual bodily harm the crown prosecution services said so you know Mm, I mean, we, we all sort of knew this was coming, obviously. I mean, it, it, this isn't a guilty uh, verdict. This is him being charged with the crime and then he'll obviously get his day in court, etc. And there'll be, you know, further, um, you know, uh, uh, legal proceedings, etc. that need to take place. So this isn't him being made guilty or being, you know, this isn't just to clarify. This is obviously him just being charged with the alleged crime of attempted rape and assault etc guys so you know it's um that's the latest that's come out today it's pretty damning we've got a report here from the um the crown Prose prosecution service um or not a report but a statement i should say this afternoon which was read by janet potter the deputy chief crown, P crown prosecutor for cps northwest she said the crown prosecution service has today authorized greater manchester police to charge mason greenwood 21 with attempted rape engaging in controlling and coercive behavior and assault occasioning actual bodily harm all three counts relate to the same complainant so you know all three different counts essentially to do with the same situation to do with the same complainant so uh the same victim essentially um, she went on to say that specialist rape prosecutors from CPS Northwest Complex Casework Unit authorized the charges following a review of a file of evidence received from Greater Manchester Police. The defendant's first court appearance will take place on Monday, the 17th of October at Greater Manchester Magistrate Court. So literally in a couple of days time, guys, uh, Mason Greenwood will first appear in a magistrate's court by the seam, seams of it. Um, the statement goes on to read, The Crown Prosecution Service reminds all concerned that criminal proceedings against the defender are active and that he has a right to a fair trial. It's extremely important that there should be no reporting, commentary or sharing of information online which can in any way prejudice those proceedings. So, you know, we've got to be very careful what we say. Moderators, if anybody's pushing anything a little bit too much in the live chat there, please do remove it, of course. Because this, these are at the moment, as we've discussed on this channel many times, they're, you know, alleged alleged crimes, alleged um, in, uh, incident, obviously. And, um, okay, there was some information that was released previously with audio files and pictures online and this kind of thing. But, obviously, he still does need to go through all of the legal process and, um, and reach the ultimate, uh, you know, I guess, um, conclusion here, which is either he's innocent or he's guilty. And that's essentially what's going to happen at some point. So I think it's got to be fair to say, you know, that um, he does need to go through the legal proceedings here. You can't just, uh, you know, you can't just um, completely, you can't just completely write him off just now because obviously the, the, the investigation needs to take place. There's two sides to every story. Now there's things that have come out in public which paint uh, Greenwood and, and certainly in a, in a terrible light. And, um, you know, I'm being careful with my words here, guys, obviously, until there's an actual investigation that's or the actual um, proceedings and, and uh, legal action and everything continues and takes place. But at the moment in time, you know, he's innocent until proven guilty, uh, guys. What this means for him and Manchester United, let's just get on to this. 
because it's very important. Obviously, he's a Manchester United player. Um, there's greater things at, at hand here. Obviously, there's an alleged victim. You know, we're not we're not making light of that at all. But what we're saying is what we're going to get onto now is how it does sort of affect Manchester United. And um, But Manchester Police added a, a statement that said Greenwood have found and will appear at Manchester and Salford Magistrates Court on Monday, the 17th of October, 2022. He was arrested in the Trafford area early today, Saturday, the 15th of October, by the way. So, um, you know, he was uh, also arrested for breaching bail conditions as well, guys, which has also been reported over the last 24 hours too. Um, the CPS said the charges in full are attempting to rape a woman 16 or over with a date specified as of October 22nd, 2021, engaging in controlling slash coercive behavior with a period between December 1st, 2018 and October 15th, 2022, and assaulting a person thereby occasioning them actual bodily harm with a period between December 12th, 2021 and December 31st, 2021, detailed. So, you know, he will be in court on the 17th of October, guys. So that's what's going on. We'll find out more information then. Greenwood of Bowden will appear at Manchester and Salford Magistrates Court on Monday, the 17th of October. Crikey, guys. It's, um, you know, it's a, it's a tricky situation, but it's latest breaking news. You know, BBC reporter, MEN reporting it. And to, to read what the, uh, the BBC said on it on their website, they basically said United Football and Mason Greenwood has been charged with attempted rape, engaging in controlling behaviour and assault. The forward was arrested in January following allegations that emerged in images and videos posted online. He was arrested again on Saturday for allegedly breaching his bail. Prosecutors said the charges all related to the same female complainant. Mr. Greenwood is due at Manchester and Salford Magistrates Court on Monday. So, you know, this guy, um, it's hard to come back from this guy from Manchester United, from Manchester United point of view. I mean, nothing much has really ch changed since the last time we spoke about this in that sense, because... There is obviously something called being innocent until proven guilty. And look, Manchester United as a club, as a business, as an entity, will look at the legal result and outcome of this case before they make a proper decision on one of their players and, ass and assets, essentially. So what I'm saying is if Mason Greenwood is found innocent, I mean, I don't know what the thinking at the club would be, you know, to taking him back. But certainly, obviously, if he's found guilty, um, we'll see what his plea is on Monday or whatever that may be. I'm not too sure if that's even happened that day, but his first first appearance will be on monday um <clears throat> you know uh it, it, it the, the ultimate outcome is going to affect the decision of manchester united massively if this all gets chucked out thrown out of court he's made in, he's found to be innocent then manchester united will have some i don't know responsibility maybe to try and s bring mason greenwood back i don't know maybe they won't it's a pr disaster for the football club either way obviously if he's guilty the decision from manchester united is very very easy now I wonder, just with the mounting public opinion and pressure, perhaps, whether or not Manchester United might address this sooner or later. I mean, the, the, the Glazers have an asset here, um, but with what's going on, it's, like I say, a PR nightmare. There's big question marks about whether or not he'll play for us again. So will, will they just look to cut their losses on Mason Green? We're not really too sure. So it's one of those, isn't it, guys? I mean, we've got to wait and see what the outcome of the court case is. In my opinion... He probably won't ever play for Manchester United again just because it's a PR shitstorm, let's be honest. Um, and uh, But who knows? I mean, he may well still be able to have a professional career as a footballer if he's found innocent. But at the moment, he's been charged with attempted rape and assault. So the difference between attempted rape and assault and rape and assault is obviously, you know, it's, there's a lot of contention there. But, you know, it's the difference between actually doing it and attempting to do it. Who knows if there's actually, you know proper evidence that we haven't seen either like we've only seen a little bit of evidence that was sort of leaked out there in the public so who knows what there is behind uh behind closed doors but all i'm saying is everybody is innocent until proven guilty everybody gets their day in court and right now mason greenwood is going through that process so monday court appearance there we have it guys do you think he'll ever play for manchester united again yes or no guys that's the question i want to ask you because it's a tough question um, there's so much surrounding this case, obviously, in regards to negativity for the club. And I just don't really see how, like, even if it did turn out that he's innocent at the end, um, there's still going to be a certain um, faction of the fan base that is just not happy about this situation whatsoever, him playing for the football club. So it's a tough one. Um, and for a public traded club as well, like Manchester United, that's a concern as well, you know, shareholders meeting, these sorts of things, these sorts of things are going to get discussed. 
for the future of this football club and obviously the the general the general uh, profitability as well as important to them and the brand and they don't want to tarnish the brand but a lot of people say no Ezio says yes though definitely not says G Wolf yes says Ezio again he's the only one that says yes oh no David T as well everybody else thinks no but what we do have to say guys is Maybe the public evidence that came out was damning, but everybody does need to have their day in court and everybody does need to, you know, um, deserves the right to defend themselves. So essentially, we don't know, you know, there's there's a little thing called context as well. You've got to be, you've got to be um, wise to the fact that there is a little thing called context. And who knows, uh, like I've said previously, you could get me to read a script right now, which makes me sound like an absolute heinous individual and just clip two seconds of it. Next thing you know, it's a knock on the old door by the old bill. Now, I'm not saying that's happened because it sounds, you know, what I've what I've heard is absolutely disgusting. But um, just saying, like, there needs to be an invest the, the proper investigation obviously has seemingly take place because he's been charged with attempted rape and uh, and assault anyway. Lucas says he's a wrong one. Thank you, Pendor. Thank you, Pendor, for getting in here, bro. Hey, we got 66 likes on the stream. Can we get 100 likes on these? We haven't been doing these... Um, <laughs> news videos for a few days guys so apologies about that but um still this is a big big update on mason green and i thought i'd jump on and let you guys know what's going on yeah that's right ross briggs 66.6k subs you are now a devil i am in teammate get to the air. we are on the number of the beast right now incidentally if you guys are new hit that subscribe button and help us get to 66.7 because the 66.6 is freaking me out What's going on there, Big Bear? How are you doing, Stephen Creamer? Kate Cadet says the evidence that was leaked can easily be edited. Let's remember that too. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was basically just saying. Like, they've got to, they have specialists who will analyze audio files and recordings and check out the structure of the, of the files and the audio and all this sort of stuff to, to find the legitimacy of it. Find if there's been any tampering. Find if there's, you know, more of this audio perhaps on some of these devices, which tells a bigger story. Because that's just a small clip, obviously. So, you know, who knows? I mean, look, all we've got to go on is that at the moment, which was publicly leaked. It's um, it's not uh, an outcome. It's not a verdict. It's not a decision. No, they will have very uh, experienced people investigating all of that stuff. And so I'm pretty sure at some point there'll be a clear picture. But right now, we as a public, I don't think we do have as clear a picture as you might think. Um, we, you know, we have to wait and see what happens. Simple as that. Finish as a football up the piggy. Thank you, Cindy Collector. I don't know if he is finished as a footballer. You know, he certainly. I think if he if he was found to be guilty, then yes. But the, this, this has just started at the moment. He's got a court date on Monday. There's still a possibility he could have a career as a footballer somewhere else, depending on the outcome. Um, obviously, if he gets banged up for rape, then he's not going to be playing football um, anytime soon. The only football he's going to be playing is with bloody, you know, fucking. Uh, Whoever, Ronaldinho or somebody in a Brazilian prison. <laughs> Except he won't be in a Brazilian prison, obviously. But you know what I mean. Anyway, Ronaldinho is out. What they are saying is that they believe they have enough evidence. They believe they can obtain a guilty verdict. Well, maybe, Case, they, they haven't actually said that. So I'm going to have to remove the, move that comment, mate. Because that is a heinous, heinous comment you just put in there, Case, to be fair. That is not what they're saying at all. Do you want me to read the statement for you again, my friend? So, um, okay, so he was arrested in January for an allegations that emerged in images and videos posted online. He was arrested again on Saturday for allegedly breaching his bail. Prosecutors said to say the charge is all related to the same female complainant. Okay, well, what this means is that they have investigated the situation and they have grounds for prosecution, basically. That's it. They have grounds for. It doesn't mean that they'll definitely get a guilty verdict. It means that they've been going through the due process. Perhaps they're you know they've, they've investigated and they found that there are grounds for a prosecution it doesn't 100 percent mean that he's there, guilty son. or that they think he's gonna be guilty so you've got to be careful about what we say there my friend but but to be fair um you know it's they i don't think it would have got to this stage i think that's what you meant to say i don't think it would have got to this stage if they didn't feel like there was some basis for a prosecution here or some i think that's what you meant to say or, you know, some, some, it's the pro, yeah, like, it, it's the process of law, Rasa Felicia. They're going through the processes of this case. They're going through the process of the law. So, okay, it wouldn't have got to this stage, I suppose, if there was, you know, no, no evidence, no grounds for this whatsoever. But it doesn't mean that he's guilty. It doesn't also mean that they think that he's more likely to be guilty than not guilty. What they're doing is going through the due process. So, okay, then. Um, right. Uh, it's a, it's, it's, it's a tricky one, though. I know what you're saying. It's a, it's a tricky one. Um, okay, so a little bit more about it, folks. Um, he was also arrested on Saturday morning at his mansion home 
in Bowden, Greater Manchester, on suspicion of breaching the conditions of his, of his bail. So I'm not really too sure what the breaching of the bail conditions are, perhaps. Who knows? I don't really want to even speculate. But a, a statement Greater Manchester Police said that they're aware of an allegation regarding a 21-year-old man breaching his bail conditions and an arrest has been made on Saturday the 15th of October 2022. Inquiries are ongoing. So there's a further arrest and a further um, allegation of him breaching his bail conditions. So allegedly breaching his bail conditions, which means that he was re-arrested, guys. So that's not good either, is it, guys? I mean, when you think about that, that's not good. But there is a key word there again, which is an allegation. Police are aware of an allegation regarding a 21-year-old man, man, man breaching his bail conditions and an arrest has been made on Saturday, the 15th of October. So inquiries are ongoing at this time. Um, it says the Academy product, originally from Bradford, was originally due to uh, answer bail after his arrest in January, where he's required to turn up at police station on April 30th this year. But a day before, Greater Manchester Police sent an said an application would be made to the courts to extend this bail. GMP said in a statement then, following a hearing yesterday, which was the 23rd of June 2022, a 20-year-old man arrested on suspicion of rape, assault, and making threats to kill on Sunday the 30th of January 2022 remains on bail. As the outcome of bail reviews does not impact the progression of investigations, Greater Manchester Police will not be providing any further updates in relation to this case until the suspect is charged or released, fa or released facing no further action. So, those were the, the options that they gave us back then in June until he's charged or released facing no further action. So, he has been charged, guys. There you go. He has been charged. And so, this alleged uh, attempted rape and assault you know they are proceeding with these, um, these, these, these legal um, avenues. So, so that is, uh, is it's not looking good for Mason Greenwood, folks. That's the reality, and of course the effect it has on United. Let's just get onto this now. So that's the latest that we sort of know on the Greenwood situation. Just so you know, if you're just getting in here, he's been uh, arrested for breaching bail allegedly. He's also uh, now got a day in court on Monday, which is after he's been charged with attempted rape and assault. So that's the situation we basically agree with as it is right now, guys. There's the update. And now how it affects Manchester United. Well, he's been suspended from Manchester United, of course, since the Premier League uh, fixture against West Ham on January 22nd this year. Um, he was also suspended um, by Nike, the relationship he had with Nike. And they, they ended their, or, you know, initially suspended it. Actually, they ended the relationship. So that's the thing. I mean, these public brands, I don't know why you know, Manchester United is any different. I know he plays for this football club and he's a contractor player who they paid a lot of money to and he's an asset. But those brands, what they've done is distance themselves, obviously, from this whole thing because it is just a horrendous, you know, domestic abuse. Worse than that, rape and assault. You know, these are things that no brand wants to be associated with. And the same goes for Manchester United. So if there's, now that he's been charged, I wonder if there'll be a, a statement or a different... Um, stance from the club at all i don't know but um until i think what will happen is personally until this this um you know legal process is finished and there is an outcome i don't i think manchester united will play will stay pretty quiet and they're not going to say anything but who knows i think um obviously if he's guilty that's it you know, from the club's ending the ties he will he'll be going away for a while and if he's innocent, well, I still don't know what's going to happen with his place at the football club. So it's one of those, isn't it, guys? It's a tough one. We'll have to wait and see what's going on. To me, Mason Greenwood is probably likely not to play for United again. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, guys. We'll have to wait and see. Um, let's get into the live chat, everybody. See what you lads and lasses are, are saying. Once again, it's a, it's, a it's a tough subject, guys. So please do be respectful at all times. And as we've said, you know, you've got to be careful what you... Uh, say as well because at these moment in time this is an investigation going on well there's a prosecution potentially taking place and also um you have to let due process take its course and also you just gotta be careful what you say guys so let's get stuck into the live chat for a few minutes and see what you legends are saying we got 96 likes on the stream four away from 100 keep dropping that like button get and get your thoughts up. and opinions in there okay um jason brown says no way back from this he'll be getting rogered in jail by big sweaty tattooed inmates play stupid games win stupid prizes says jason brown um well well you say no way back from this but if he's found innocent that's one way back from it isn't it you're talking about if he's found guilty so at the moment 
you know, he, 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 there, is, there, there is no, there is no verdict, there is no outcome, there is no plea from Mason Greenwood. You haven't seen the words guilty come out of his mouth. You haven't seen a judge, you know, make a decision or a jury come to a verdict. You haven't seen any of that yet, guys. So be careful. There's an, there's, there's an investigation that's taken place, which has got to this point now where they've charged him. So there's obviously grounds for this, but the investigation is, is just that. It's an investigation at the moment. What it needs to happen is it's going to go into a court essentially. So um, for, for people to decide what's, uh, what, the, what the truth is. That's what's going on, not for us to decide, but for the court to decide what the truth is, essentially is what's going on here. And from a legal standpoint, sometimes, as we've said many times in the past, guys, it's not about what you know, it's about what you can prove. And I'm sorry to say, but from the only public evidence that there is, in my opinion, there isn't very much grounds for for actual proof because as i've said i could read a script to you and hold a microphone up to you and then go and clip that so not suggesting that's happened but just saying that is that enough proof to bang somebody up for many many years an audio file now maybe there's other stuff that they found during the investigation which we don't know about so we have to wait and see what's happening thank you cindy collector he says thanks for the update picking not many covering it i think if you're using alleged that's fine for reporting news to cindy collector well, yeah, I mean, look, I'm just reading statements, essentially, that the BBC and The Guardian and all these people are reporting as well. So if they can report it, I can report it. And I'm being as respectful as possible with this subject matter. And I'm being very careful what I say as well. And like I say, there's just a, there's a, there is a, invest, there is, there has been investigation. He has been charged with an attempted rape and assault. And now there will be a, uh, you know, um, a, a, a court process. So that's where it's at. <clears throat> interesting stay gold i'm not too uh, familiar with that one um yeah well baby yoda i mean again you see you can't say that he says if he's been charged the likelihood is he did i mean i don't think you can really 100 percent say that you know there's got to be the uh the, the 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 court process that takes place first they've got to analyze all the evidence all the findings of the investigations by the police and then reach an outcome we don't have we don't have knowledge of that information. So, you know, to say he's one way or the other right now, I personally think is a little bit premature. We've got to let this play out. We've got to let this play out. You know, once there is an outcome, then we can talk about this to a blue in the face. But right now, I think it's important to remember that the legal process needs to take place, guys. interesting for a player who could sue for millions in wrongful arrest police and crown prosecution have to be sure no mistakes have been made yep fair play i agree with you as well mick jones well that's it they conducted a thorough investigation didn't they they even asked um uh they even asked for more time didn't they creative manchester, creative manchester police asked for more time in order to investigate this situation basically and asked to extend his bail so you know, they they obviously have done their due investigations due due uh due diligence on this yeah america's legal system is different yeah yeah uh viking football says some people are too young don't have the experience of uh mistress of justice yeah i mean listen i've got no i'm just 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 me personally just to tell you guys i have no legal background you know i'm just i'm just winging this guys obviously but yes i mean in, in me personally you know I, I i'm a complete noob when it comes to this stuff i'm just in as much dark as you guys really but um yeah of course i am i <laughs> just was just waiting to see what happens you know just waiting to see what happens Yes, Ronaldo went through the same thing in Vegas, paid off to stay gold. Listen, that's a ridiculous statement as well, stay gold, lad. Um, I mean, in regards to Cristiano Ronaldo, I mean, I think that was always a, a personally a heinous, heinous uh, accusation myself. But look, he was found obviously completely, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't taken further. Ronaldo's a nice guy. I think that's ridiculous to suggest that Cristiano uh, ever did that, man. I don't appreciate that comment. I really don't think Ronaldo does. It just doesn't strike, you know, okay, you can't judge a book by its cover. Um, but in regards to Cristiano Ronaldo, I just don't buy that at all. The guy's sexy as fuck. He, he, could, he could basically just go into a club and pull any woman he wants. He don't need to do that, guys. <laughs> I mean, that's stupid, isn't it? But that's my logic. <laughs> I, I doubt Ronaldo did that, guys. Lots of people in the chat damn agree with us guilty without hearing all the evidence. Yeah, exactly. Precisely well said there, Kate Cadet. We have not actually seen the evidence, guys. Um, maybe, a, you know... A, a, like there was a bit of a public leak, but other than that, there's an investigation that's taken place by Greater Manchester, Greater Manchester Police. I'm having a real struggle saying Greater Manchester Police today, but by GMP, which has taken place. And so they've got the evidence, they've got the information, they've gone and analyzed through 
phones and records and messages and images and audio files and every single thing I'm sure on both people's phones here, I'm guessing, etc. So you've got to say that they've done the investigation. We don't see the evidence that they've put together in, in terms of a, a, a case or anything. So you've got to be um, you've got to be patient. I agree with what Kate Cadet said. You know, you can't just damn somebody off without seeing all the evidence. Let's see all the evidence first, guys. You know, let's hear it. Let's let's let the uh, justice system take its course. That's what we should do. Well said, Kate Cadet. I'm with you. <clears throat> Ellie, what's going on? Says Viking. I think it gets to a certain point where you can't have charges dropped in a case, right? Okay, yes. So you mean like if there was no. Uh, if the the two parties had come to a uh, situation where they don't want to pro progress with this anymore, then they could drop it. Well, any suggesting that too much time's gone on, um, and also perhaps, no. Let's face it: if there's if they're investigating the case for a long time, and they've got maybe some sort of evidence, then it's you know they they, they, they surely they can they can progress with it. I don't really know how it works again, though. I don't know. Um, so what happened? To, was it uh, no Alex Core again? You know, that's that's an alleged comment you've just made there. Who knows? I wouldn't suggest that's the case at all, bud. I'm not pro trying to uh, say anyone's a liar or there's any, um, you know, anything like that. I just personally think you've got to let the investigation take place. And um, one picture might tell a story and another audio file might tell a, another story. But there might there's a bigger story behind that, which we don't know about, and they probably do. So let's see what the story is. There you go. 1-0 to Spurs, is it, Bendor? Gash. Um, what about... Yeah, well, there you go. Basuma Thomas party. I mean, I think wasn't that Basuma one drop recently, that IQ insane? I mean, what I would like to say is, guys, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... You know, this, 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 this domestic abuse is an awful, awful thing. Rape and assault is an awful, awful thing. But just because... And I'm not talking about Mason Green with this in particular at all. But just because somebody's been alleged, somebody mentioned Ronaldo earlier, etc. Just because somebody's been alleged to have committed rape does 100% not mean that they raped anybody. Uh, it means that somebody's alleged it. Let's just be very clear about this. All these people in the past, some of them get found to be guilty, raping pieces of shit, right? But others get found to be completely innocent, completely faultless. Maybe it's a scorned, scorned person in a relationship that makes an accusation. Super Maybe super it's, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. But there's definitely cases where people have been wrongfully accused of things. And is it okay to just completely write somebody off over one person's accusation? You know, no, it's not, guys. No, it's fucking not. So you've got to let everybody have their say. You've got to let everyone have their day in court. You've got to let process take place. Otherwise, you can ruin people's lives with a few words. And that's not how this world works, my friend. You've got to be able to prove that somebody is a piece of shit, not just say that somebody's a piece of shit, okay? So I think it's, um, you know, never... All, all these all these players that are allegedly supposed to have done all these things, some of them probably have. But I almost guarantee you now, some of them also haven't, and they've had uh, mental turmoil and um, probably been completely depressed and mentally put through the ringer because of some piece of shit's accusation right so let's let's just uh say how it is it works both ways as well mick jones thank you for the two pound super chat my friend i really appreciate that thank you so much for getting in here raw lad let's get a sue in the live chat as well thank you champs for show yeah thank you very much jim watkins no absolutely not owen southern like i just said i wasn't mentioning that in regards to greenwood what i'm saying is in the past if you think there's been accusations against people which have been made and they're all 100 percent true then you're an idiot my friend that's what i'm saying i'm saying if you think there's been in the past uh, accusations made against people and they're all true you need your head testing mate you let people prove themselves first you let people prove their innocence you let people you know either prove that they're innocent or guilty you don't just write somebody off because of what some, someone said. And I'm not even talking about the Greenwood case now. I'm talking about what somebody said about Ronaldo earlier or a few other players that have been alleged over the years. You can't just completely string somebody up because of somebody else's accusation. And there's been plenty of cases in the past where people have been found to just be outright lying. You know, so um, <laughs> there you go. It's, it's, it's not right, guys. It's not right. <clears throat> Oh, well, there you go, Vincent Bullock. Again, I don't know enough about that case, though, to be fair. But he says, oh, you mean in regards to the Amber Heard thing? Right. Oh, well, yeah. Well, Vincent says, look at Johnny Depp. The man was accused. 
uh, and the truth came out. He was a victim in the end. Well, there you go, Vincent Bullock. I mean, I think you know, they both gave as good as they got in some ways. But yes, I think she was absolutely nuts. And uh, and the accusations going one way could tarnish and did tarnish his reputation. That's why he won the libel case or whatever it was. Um, what was it, guys? Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> no, not not libel. What was it, guys? Oh, um, yeah. Uh, shit. You know the you know the word. <laughs> Basically, it was um yeah it was uh, tarnishing his reputation. I've forgotten the word for some reason now. <laughs> but um but yeah she she was done for that defamation defamation of character that's the one. So she was actually found guilty of defamation of character and she was caused uh you know char not charged sorry she was ordered to pay him a shitload of cash. So you're absolutely right. You know just because somebody says something doesn't mean that it's true. So we have to let due process take place. What's going on, Burba? You Don? I hope you're doing well today, my friend. By the way, guys, we've got 115 likes on this stream. Keep smashing that like on it. Smash the like if you just joined and hit the subscribe and get your get your thoughts in. But please do be respectful considering the subject matter here. Rory C, thank you for the 10 euro super chat. Let's get a sue in there for Rory, lad. Rory says, fair play, pig, for discussing these alleged crimes. Let's wait and see what happens in the court. But I still think his United career is over regardless. Watch the massive dive by Kane. To win the pen. Oh, okay. I will have to, mate, after this. Thank you, Rory. See you, legend. I appreciate you, man. Get in there, my son. Let's get some Sue's in there for Rory. Thank you very much, bro. Um, Berber says he's finished either way. Mm, maybe. Again, let's wait and see what the outcome is. But maybe. Oh, Stefan. Thank you very much, Stefan Harringtonio. You don. Oh, man. Mick Jones with a £2 super chat as well. Thank you very much, Mick Jones. You're a bunch of legends. Appreciate you guys. Um, okay then. Uh, the only way to record so people to believe same happened with Johnny and her says Gabe Moore. Okay, so yes, that's that's a good comment you've just made there as well. Um, like things being leaked, things being recorded, and uh, someone can say, Oh, that's some sort of entrapment bullshit. No, no, no well, no, because like you're saying, it's uh you you're trying to you're trying to actually prove prove things. <clears throat> you're right, Pig, I had a uh, similar situation with my ex-girlfriend. I haven't had proper relationship since 2014 because it literally ruined my mental health and ability to trust anyone. So oh, man, so Emperor Jerome, I feel you, my man. I feel you, my man. It's tough, isn't it, mate? That's it when you... Uh... That's it. It's tough, those situations, but um, that really affect your mental health and relationships. You, you know, that's it. It's, 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 it's tough, mate. It's very, very tough. I hope you're okay, though, my friend. And uh, if she was a cow, I'm glad she's your ex, lad. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, Dara, Diamond Brabite, thank you so much, very much for getting in here with a five euro super chat there. Dude, Diamond Brabite, thank you so much, bud. I hope I said your name correctly there or somewhere near your actual pronunciation of your name. But he says, have a nice drink on me this awesome weekend. Man, what a nice guy. Thank you so much there, Diamond. I appreciate that a lot. Get in there, my son. Let's get some Sue's in there for Diamond. Thank you very much indeed, my man. That's awesome of you, bro. What a legend. Appreciate the drink. I will have that, my friend. Baby Yoda, what's going on? Says Janet, part of the Deputy Chief Crown Prosecutor of CPS Northwest, said the Crown Prosecution Services today authorised Greater Manchester Police to charge Basic Reaver 21. Pretend to rape assault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's on the screen, bud. <laughs> it's not actually. Sorry, it's not. Now it's on the screen. <laughs> the Crown Prosecution, my bad. The Crown Prosecution Service has today authorised Greater Manchester Police to charge Basic Reaver 21 with attempted rape, engaging in controlling and coercive behaviour and assault, occasioning actual bodily harm. All three counts relate to the same complainant. Bad times, guys. Bad times. Man, you still paying a player who's suspended, can't train, terminate his uh, contract. Well, they might do it at some point soon. Who knows? But right now, they're letting the legal process take place. Uh, Rory C. I mean, just imagine this. Let's just imagine this, guys. I'm not, you know, just what, what if it comes out to be all false accusations? Super, now, I'm not suggesting that's the case yeah. at all. But... What? So Manchester United should sack him off now? I think they should let the investi I think they should um let the process take place first, either way. And then and then see what's going on. Rory C, thank you very much for the two Euro super chat. He says, off topic. If we win the next three, top four must be locked in, says Rory C. Oh, I mean, I would hope so. I mean, if you look at the fixtures we've got, yeah, with the tough, tough games. Who are we playing again, guys? Spurs, Newcastle and uh, one of the other bigger ones. I've forgotten now. But yes, we have got a few tough games coming up, Rory. If we were to win all those, yeah, I mean, top four would be looking damn good. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get, you know, uh, I don't know. Is it Chelsea? Is it Chelsea? Yeah. Chelsea says Rajat and Rory. So we've got Spurs. We've got Newcastle, Spurs, Chelsea. Very few tough games. Let me just ask the live chat, seeing as you mentioned it. 
Let's ask the live chat. How many points do you think we pick up from those those three games? With nine points available, obviously. Sadly, I'm think I'm, I think we're going to get five, which means we get two draws and a win. That's what I'm going for. I don't think we're going to get nine points or even six points. I think it's going to be a tough old couple of games. But I'm going for five points. Zero, says Bendor. Six, says Barry. Seven, says Ezio. Well, I'm liking your positive vibes. Three or four, says Manos. Nine, says Duncan. Five, says Russia Felicia. It has ruined his life, Gabe Ball. Yes, indeed. Stefan says three. Seven, says Charlie. Four, says Bubbles. Seven, says El Professor. Four, says Berber. Four, says Jeff. So they're thinking, the people who say four, a draw, a loss, and a win. Yeah, I mean, I could I could see us struggling in a couple of these fixtures, guys. I mean, Man United haven't looked that great recently. Look, on our day, we can turn up and beat anyone. We've, we have got some good results this season. We smashed up Arsenal. We smashed up Liverpool. But we've also looked pretty lackluster in the last couple of games against, like, Ammonia FC. So let's see how we do against a good team like Newcastle, who are looking good at the moment. Yeah, well, K Cadet, yeah, I mean, that's... that's uh, I mean, it's got to this stage, so there's obviously grounds, but the, the legal process must take place we beat newcastle draw to chelsea says be fully oh you mean eight says rush up Valencia. nice one um viking football red says ellie i respect your opinion but this is all conjecture no one knows the truth no one oh, well that's true that's that's true that's why they're going to have this court process and see what the uh decisions are etc anyway okay guys well i think we've covered this topic uh, I am going to be back on a bit later with a preview for the Newcastle Man United game. I'm not going to do a long video for this one. I just wanted to jump on and give you that little brief update about Mason Greenwood and, and speak with your legends and let you know what's happening if you didn't know. But thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like on the video before you go. Twat that like button. Give it a subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. We're on here with the latest United news. We're also going to be back at 9.15. 9.15, guys, with a cheeky little preview video um for the on this channel as well so come back for for that we'll be checking out all the latest information and updates for the game tomorrow team news and all that kind of stuff checking out the latest info um predictions starting lineup selections all that sort of stuff we're gonna be getting into it raw later on live so come and join us i'll actually put it in the top of the live chat here folks um preview 9 15 p.m boom right there Thank you, Blake Butler. Appreciate you, my man. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you, Ellie and all the mods. Vooty, Johnny, Berber, everyone getting in here. Um, thank you for all the members for getting in and supporting the channel as always. Thank you to the super chatters there going in there. Raw, thanks for the drinks. And just thank you, everyone, for watching. That's it for me today. It's a tough subject. That's where we're going to leave it now. Greenwood's been charged with attempted rape and assault. That's the latest, guys. He's got a day in court on Monday. We'll find out a bit more then. And... Of course, there'll be a court process, I think, and it's going to take a bit of time. But that's how things stand. Yep, FIFA tonight, Vincent Bullock. We'll be back on late. Um, yeah, oh, it absolutely is Emperor Jerome. Yes, indeed. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Madhouse, Jim Watkins, Ben Dor, Ellie, Sub to Flying Pig United as well, the Vootinator, and everybody else as well. Thank you very much for getting in here. It's uh, much appreciated. Have a good night, guys. Take it easy. And thank you so, so much for tuning in. Have a great night. Stay classy. And we'll catch you soon. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll be back at 9.15. So I've pinned it to the top of live chat. Check the preview out. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Flying Pig United. Also, the website is unitedflyinghigh.com. So go and read your news over there. Thanks for watching. Beef Bully, Emperor, Atkins, Marvin, Matthew, Night Whisper, Rajat, Stefan, and all the legends of the channel. Goodbye, guys.